This is part two of doing textures for 2D design with a symmetrical design. I am going into my textures that I have saved and I am selecting a texture that I want. I'm going to show you how to create textures in layer styles. So open up the texture in Photoshop that you like. Select the texture by doing Command A, so the whole Outside edge is selected, then go up to Edit, down to Define Pattern, and click Define Pattern, and then you can name your texture. So you can just leave it the way it is, or change it, shorten it. I will shorten it and click OK. So that is now saved as a texture in my layer styles and also in my brushes. So now I can select the shapes that I want that texture to be on. So I will use my magic wand and select my line layer. So I am selecting the shapes for that texture. Once I have all those selected, I will add color. Now that I have my shape selected, I am going to go up to, first I'm going to make a new layer, put my color on, then I'm going to go up to select, and I'm going to modify my selection. I'm going to expand it by six pixels to eliminate white gaps in between shapes. Then I'm going to edit, and I'm going to fill. I already had a color chosen, so I want a dark value here. Now I'm going to go up to Layer and down to Layer Style. Then I'm going down to Pattern Overlay. So this is where we just saved our pattern, so it doesn't pop up here. It's going to be a way down on the lower right. The most recent one is on the lower right or it could be on the lower left, depending on how many you have in there. But it's the most recent one down at the bottom. So we can choose that one, and we can play with the scale. We can play with the opacity. We can decide whether or not we like it or not. And click OK. I'm thinking it's too light, so I'm going to double click on the pattern overlay again and adjust it. Let's see if I can darken it a bit. I can change the opacity. I could also go into blend mode, change it to multiply, and that's too dark, even if I Pull the opacity up, so I'm going to go change it to screen, which seems too light. I will change it to overlay. That's getting closer, so I'll pull up the opacity. I think this is where I like it. Click OK. Now I'm going to go back to my line layer, and I'm going to select the shapes for my next texture. So I'll get my wand again. I'll select a shape. I will press shift to add more shapes. So once I have those shapes selected, I will go to select and modify and expand six pixels to eliminate white gaps in between my shapes. Then I will make a new layer to put that color on. So I'll go to background, put a layer on top. I will go up to edit and I will fill with a new color that I previously already selected and do command D to deselect. Now I want to pull up my layer styles. I can double click on that layer and there are my layer styles. I will choose Pattern Overlay. Move it out of the way so I can see what's happening. I can change my texture from the many textures I have in my 
texture palette that I have saved previously. So if you want more textures, you're going to have to save them. They come in handy with brushes and layer styles and many other uses. So once I get what I like, I can try different options. Reduce the opacity or not. What you want to do is play with it and see what you like. Now I'm going to go back to my line layer and I'm going to select the shapes for my next pattern. So once my shapes are selected, I'll go to select, modify, and expand six pixels to eliminate white gaps between my shapes. I'll make a new layer. I'm going to edit and fill. Select color and I'll choose a lighter color. Click OK. Remember, this is my monochromatic color scheme. I'll do Command D to deselect. And if I double click on that layer, I will get my layer style options. I'll choose my pattern overlay. So I have many choices here because I've saved a lot of patterns in my pattern palette. So now I have what I like. I'm going to save it with all my layers. So I'll save it as a PSD. I'll put my name on it like I want you to. And I'll call it mono because it's my monochromatic scheme. Then I'm going to flatten it. Go to layer down to the bottom. Flatten image. I'll discard hidden layers and I'll go to File, save as a JPEG to submit for the assignment with your name on it. So save it as a JPEG, submit it as a JPEG, submit it with your name on it. And if you want, you can do Command-I and see if you like it that way. Here it's a monochromatic blue color scheme. It's kind of cool looking. so. Command I inverts everything, so good luck on the assignment. Have fun with it. Layer styles are awesome.